My boyfriend just asked me when I'm out with my friends, if a man offers me a drink, what I do. And I'm like, I'll take the drink. And he was so surprised. He was like, what? And I'm like, well, what did you expect me to say? And he was like, I thought you were going to say no. Like when a man offers you a drink or if a man offers you a drink, you turn it down. I'm like, no. Like, I'm, I mean, there are moments where it's appropriate to turn on a drink, right? If a man is like aggressively flirting with you and you know you don't want that, turn it down. When I was young, I didn't have an issue with guys buying my girl a drink because I was young and I was a fighter. I'm like, yo, you tell that motherfucker he won't buy you a drink. He got to buy me. You know, what I mean? tell him to get you two and and bring that motherfucker to me. If he got a problem with it, then it's on and popping. OK, but now now that I'm older, that's attention. See. Oh. Peanut. Let's go. My boyfriend just asked me when I'm out with my friends if a man offers me a drink, what I do. And I'm like, I'll take the drink. And he was so surprised. He was like, what? And I'm like, well, what did you expect me to say? And he was like, I thought you were going to say no. Like when a man offers you a drink or if a man offers you a drink, you turn it down. I'm like, no. Like, I'm, I mean, there are moments where it's appropriate to turn out a drink, right? If a man is let me, like, let me hear those with you, you don't want I'm that, mixed turn it down. Right if a man hear those walks moments. over to you with a drink or says, I'm going to get you a drink, I'll be right back, turn it down. I got to see it be made. But if we are literally at the bar together and you like, what are you drinking or what do you have and I'll get it for you? Absolutely. Mm. And then I set the standards or the mm. expectation afterwards mm. that not only no, are you buying a drink for me and my did. friends, but mm. we're not about to sit here and talk and mingle and flirt afterwards. Like, if you buy me a drink, I want you to know that you are literally just buying me a drink. Thank you. I appreciate it. But I'm not turning down the drink. Like, <laughs> I guess that's like the whole point. My point is I'm not turning down a free drink, especially when mm. you get it for me and my friends. Like, for what? But like, what do I get out of that other than no drink? <laughs> okay. All right. Let me let me say this now. Okay, I'm listening. When I was young, I didn't have an issue with guys buying uh, my girl a drink because okay. I was young and I was a fighter. I'm like, yo, you tell that motherfucker he won't buy you a drink. He got to buy me. You know, what I mean? tell him to get you two, and and bring that motherfucker to me. If he got a problem with it, then it's on and popping. Okay. But now, now that I'm older, that's attention see. That's just seek, seeking attention and sometimes unwanted attention that can be dangerous because you don't know what type of man you're dealing with who bought right. you that drink. He could have mental issues. He could be aggressive. And then, yeah, come on now, now. So you leave the house with some money. Buy your own goddamn drink. I'm not a drinker. Like I yeah. said, I don't do the clubs. I don't do the bars. However, yeah, every man, now and again, the, I may go you, hang out. Slide you that cranberry juice. Yes, that's exactly. Because literally, anybody <laughs> would tell you if I go somewhere with them to like a bar or a club, they'd be like, why are you drinking that juice? But whether it's juice or alcohol, whatever it may be, I even know firsthand that when a guy is coming to offer you something to drink, there are expectations to that. That's opening the door like, OK, well, you know what? I just bought you a drink. So what comes after this? So basically, you, yeah, he's you know, opening you know that what? door to try to see, OK, what can he get after that? Because nine times out of, out of 10 at a bar, a guy, is that's his way in flirting with you. Mm -hmm. So I, I do honestly believe that that is a little disrespectful for her. So, let OK, let's just say if you tell the guy like, look, I'm in a relationship. You no, know, are you going to buy me and my friends drinks? So open say that disclosure before he even buys you the drink like look are you going to buy the drink for me and my friends don't just have yeah. him buy the drink for you and now he's thinking okay we're going to sit here and socialize because that's what happens and he's going to sit right there with you he's going to socialize with you and he's going to have the intention that okay you know what by the time i finish talking to her we're going to exchange numbers you can't exchange numbers with this dude because you live with a man listen there yeah, i'm gonna take a little a, a, a little deeper than that as I said before, that's unwanted attention. Right. Two, you don't know who you're dealing with. And three, I believe that's disrespectful on your man. Right. Or or your woman. To be what now, about this whole double-edged sword? He does it, then what? So if yeah. he does that, if he accepts a drink from a girl, what would she say? Or man, so was he send a drink to a girl? Mm, exactly. You know what I'm saying? So I mean, so that, people so don't you, people don't look at both sides of the story because my thing is it's like 
Put yourself in that person's shoes. How would you feel? Yeah. And people fail to do that now these days. Now, I mean, now, grant, now, granted, because I, I, I have done this. I have sent a woman a drink. Mm-hmm. I mean, on the head nod. If, if I think you look pretty, it, and that's it. Right. I'm just, I'm just being generous. But she even and mentioned, like, head oh, you're not about to sit here and now, flirt. Yeah. So you already know what, what, what it's hidden for. Yeah. Now, if a man walk up and he's trying to talk, he's trying to get his crack on. Oh, can I buy you a drink? No, right. I got her, man. So, I'll turn down things that, it, with the quickness. No, thank you. It, it was, it was no, Netflix in a bottle. Henny. What? Who, my man? What? Oh, gosh. <laughs> Ain't no way. Now, I would definitely want my girl to turn down the drink. Because, again, mm-hmm. that's... You shouldn't be talking to no man. I'm sorry. You shouldn't be talking. Put the to shoe man. on the other foot. She, my thing is, it's like okay, if that was me, and the, and the roles were reversed, how would you feel? If my girl told me, yeah, I I took a drink from her, I'm like, oh, word, mm-hmm. we going out. Mm-hmm. And when we go out, I'm gonna sit at that bar. Oh, that's a pretty woman right and there. And guess what? Bar be an her drink. And guess what? It'll be an argument before yeah, I mean, they even leave. I'll be like, shut the fuck up. <laughs> Shut the fuck up! <laughs> oh, look at that beautiful white woman right there. Hey, barmaid, send her a drink right there. Where, whatever she drinking. Right. Oh, look at that beautiful black woman right there. Yeah, send her a drinking right there. Send her, man. I ain't. I ain't trying to hear shit. She'll have a whole attitude. And she got her, look, she'll be riding home in the passenger seat, looking out the window. <laughs> That's what we do when we mad. We look out the window this way. <laughs> Shit, I roll the window down. You stick your head out like a motherfucking dog. Put my headphones in. You talking and I'm listening to my music. Look at this direction. (laughs) Hey, I'm like, oh, you ain't talking to me? Like what? I don't need you to talk later on either. (laughs) Look, get home and get in the bed and put a crease in between the blanket. (laughs) Yeah, I bust one off on your forehead talking about, yeah, that could have been in you, but you chose otherwise. (laughs) This your podcast, man. I'll let your boy.